Hey YouTube, how's it going? Hey, you hear that sound? That's the sound of my fan not running at full blast. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's turned off. Oh, I'll grant you, my ceiling fan is on, but then again, I almost never turn that off. I'll turn it down to really low speed or something maybe, but I've got this big need to have actual moving air around me most of the time. So, but basically, it's cool, it's comfortable, it's nice out. Got down to like 68 or so last night. Uh, I think it's about 61 or so right now. The temperature's actually been going down a little bit all day. We're supposed to get into the upper 50s tonight and that is gonna be really comfortable sleeping weather. I guarantee you it's gonna be restful. In the meanwhile, things are looking sort of okay given that today and yesterday I woke up and uh, started throwing up and when I was done the whole world was there so I threw up the whole world this morning and yesterday the entire world so if you're wondering about what that mess is you're standing in there you go anyway <laughs> couldn't help myself anyhow I started something a few days ago in my EVE Online career. I decided that the character that I had basically created and then forgot about for a long time because I wanted to make sure that I owned the one with the name Tinfoil Chef, uh, in addition to making the EVE Online tips players, uh, tips videos and whatnot. I was going to do something else with him. I parked him in the station and I started doing some research about items to buy for sale at another station. And uh, well, he started out, I think it was Sunday night, he had about 4.8 million isk in his wallet. And that night, I bought 4.1 million worth of products at one station, hauled them to another station, and put them up for sale. The next day, I had something over 8 million disc. That's pretty doggone good turnover. That's a real good profit margin, I'll tell you. So I proceeded to... Uh, buy some more items and haul them over and sell them put them up on sell orders and things have been progressing pretty good uh, right now he's got about 10 million isk in the wallet and there's another there's like I think there's yeah seven bio seven sell orders still up and that if they get fulfilled at their current price that will be worth about 24 million. Not bad. Now I am allowing some space in there because this 24 million worth of stuff is it's valued at that because that's what the sell price is set at. But somebody else comes in and undercuts my price, I'll have to lower my price to get to the top of the list and whatnot. Because people will sort the list of items for sale by in order of uh, from the cheapest to the more expensive and you want to be on the top of that list if you're going to make any sales so I'm allowing say 20% of the value of the things that are for sale uh, to uh, cover for those price reductions that will have to be made so at the very least at 24 million uh, it should net me at least 17 to 18 million if everything sells within a reasonable amount of what it's priced at right now. And as a matter of fact, I'm thinking of uh, making a good size move because Testicles Alden, while he's not made of ISK, he does have enough to jumpstart this trading business. And I think that he's going to send some ISK to Tinfoil Chef 
to make it possible for him to up the game and start trading bigger items in addition to a heck of a lot more items. Right now, like I said, I've got about seven sell orders in business and I actually could have as many as about uh, 30 or 35 active sell orders right now and that number is going to be going up as certain skill training proceeds but it's looking good this is the best I've done on the EVE market ever so I think it just might turn into something I'm going to keep going with it and do an update here and there and we'll see how it goes meanwhile new Hermitcraft mod sauce video going up probably about the same time this video goes live so don't miss it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.